Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. It's a nice sunny day out today, but it's pretty cold. When I got up this morning, it was about four degrees. Right now, the temperature's come up to about 14 degrees, so we're in the teens. For Northwest Pennsylvania, I consider that pretty cold. I know it's not Upper Peninsula of Michigan cold, or Minnesota cold, or Alaska cold, but I don't like that kind of below zero cold. Even this is cold enough for me. Today's video is about something that I hear debated a lot. Does firewood dry in the winter time? We're gonna talk about that. I know there will probably be a lot of debate in the comments. I've read a lot of the debate previously and I've done a lot of studying about how things dry and typically we know that in order for something to dry, whether that be clothing or wood or anything you're trying to dry, you need three things. You need airflow, you need time, and you need temperature. So let's talk about does firewood dry in the winter time. Now again, I've read through those debates and I know what a lot of people are gonna say. A lot of people will say, there's no way firewood can dry in the winter time. Any moisture inside the wood freezes and then it becomes stuck in the wood. Other people are gonna say, it doesn't matter whether it's summer or winter, as long as you get sun and airflow, that wood will dry out. Let's talk a little bit about the physics and just the anecdotal evidence that we see that tells us whether or not something can dry in the winter time. We're looking here at this stack, this IBC tote stack of firewood that I split recently. You can see we've got a couple things going for it. A, we are getting some sunshine on it. So that has to help, right? It has to help dry it out at least a little bit. Even if the sunshine's not on an 80 degree day, on a day like today, sunshine has to help, right? Second thing we know is we're out in the open a little bit here. We've got a little bit of woods covered behind us but at least there is some airflow getting to this wood. Third thing we know is I kept the snow off of it. That has to help, right? The snow being on top of the rain cap that I made for my IBC tote keeps the snow from being on top of the wood, keeps the, as the snow melts, keeps that water from running down across the wood. So that should help, right? Well, let's talk about that. So let's talk about one absolute known truth. You have to have airflow in order for anything to start drying, whether that's clothing, fresh paint, or firewood. Now I know you can't see it because of the camouflage tarp, but this tarp is covering firewood. The tarp being down across the front like this is not letting airflow in there. The wood that's underneath this will not dry. I typically would not put a tarp across the front of the firewood. You can see that if the tarp wasn't on it, we'd be getting some sunshine here. But I put this tarp on kind of right in the middle of that big snowstorm when we were getting 15 inches of snow. I just wanted to get this covered up so that the snow wouldn't completely lay on top of this and get moisture all through it. So now that the snow is done, I'll be able to lift up my tarp and let the sun shine into those rounds. Let's talk about another thing we know for sure. Another thing we know for sure is that uncovered wood with snow on top of it is gonna be harder to dry than covered wood that it was exposed on the front. Now, I didn't cover this up because this is all really green cherry still, so I know this is gonna take another year to dry out. I don't think that snow is gonna make a huge difference, but if this were dried wood or mostly dried wood, I would've made sure to get this covered up to keep that snow off of it. The snow does a couple things. First of all, as the sun melts the snow, it's gonna drip water all through the rest of my wood. Second thing is, the snow is actually an insulator. It doesn't let any airflow get onto the tops of these logs. So yes, I'm still getting airflow here on the front, but I'm not getting any air or any sun on top of the wood. Now I'm sure some people are already arguing down in the comments, it doesn't matter whether it's covered up or not, it doesn't matter whether it's in the sun, doesn't matter if there's air, in the cold temperature of four or 14 degrees, any moisture is frozen and that moisture is not gonna come out of the wood. It's very cold out and a couple things always happen when it's cold. First of all, my hands get very dry. 
Even though it's cold out, my hands dry out. My lips get chapped. You have to put chapstick on because your lips lose moisture in the winter time. Ice cubes shrink a little bit in the ice cube tray. On my sidewalks, anything that I shoveled, even though there was still ice on it, that ice kind of magically disappears without melting. Somehow the ice goes away on that section of sidewalk. That's called sublimation. That's when, because the humidity is so low, the air can absorb moisture and the moisture can go directly from solid to vapor. So kind of think about it like if you turn the defroster on in your car, you have a layer of frost. Sometimes that just kind of disappears. You never even see it turn into liquid and fall down the windshield. It just kind of disappears off the windshield with the defroster on. That's because of sublimation. So we know that low humidity levels really helps dry things out. And here in Northwest Pennsylvania in the winter time, our humidity is low. That means that any of the air blowing across this firewood is gonna pull moisture out of the firewood because right now the air can absorb more moisture. The air is very dry. That's why it dries your lips. That's why it dries your hands. Now I don't live in or near Lancaster, Pennsylvania where we know there's a lot of Amish or a large Amish community, but we do have Amish people that live here around our house in Northwest Pennsylvania. And a lot of times, even in the winter time, you'll drive by their house and their laundry is all out on the line. And the reason that still works in the winter time in the cold is because as long as there's airflow, as long as the air is dry, low humidity, low relative humidity levels, anything will dry out if you give it time and airflow. And even though we don't have that hot temperature, those clothes out on the line will dry. So while it is really important to season your wood multiple seasons, I believe that's what seasoning means is that wood goes through multiple seasons of drying out. I also do think that winter is one of the seasons that will help dry out your firewood. I wouldn't say just put a tarp over it, totally enclose the wood until summertime and then open it back up. I think you're losing out on valuable seasoning and drying time. I do think the winter dries things out really well. I can feel it in my hands every single morning when I get up. So I'm certain that this firewood getting sun and wind and dry air exposure is drying out and it's helping this wood season further even in the winter time even below freezing temperatures and even when it's been snowing outside so thanks for watching this short little video on does firewood dry in the winter the answer is yes firewood does still dry out and season in the winter season of course everything depends on where you live if you lived in a warm humid climate it's not gonna dry out as easily as up here in Northwest Pennsylvania in the winter time when there's very low humidity. So everything's kind of relative to your situation, the kind of wood you have, where you're located. So I can say that this wood is going to continue seasoning and drying all through the winter because I've got it exposed to that dry, cold air, some sunshine, and I'm giving it time to continually dry. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below on the debates you've heard about drying firewood in the wintertime or below freezing temperatures or covered or uncovered. I'd love to hear what all you think and what things you've read on the internet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. So here's an example of that sublimation. You can see the area that I shoveled on the driveway here is totally dry. So. Even the snow that was here just kind of evaporated. You can see there is some moisture. The sun's kind of melting this and creating that wet spot. But what happens to the rest of this and the reason snow kind of just disappears from the driveway is because the air is so dry, it pulls the moisture kind of evaporating that snow. So it's a really cool process and just one kind of piece of evidence that even in cold temperatures, airflow will help dry things out and airflow will help dry your firewood.